Alright, uh, welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, this is a bit more of a serious video. This morning, I opened my phone on Twitter as you do. Uh, and yeah, just as a lot of you may know, uh, there's been a mass shooting once again in New Zealand. Um, I say once again as in like, it, it's just keep happening in the world. I thought I'd speak on this matter as it's something that like, not many people speak about, either they're too scared to say their opinion on it, or people just don't want to get involved but I'm here to just settle a few things talk about a few things so yeah this video is quite raw if you're easily offended or anything like that please click off the video now uh, but I do want to start off with saying there's been I'll just check now it was it was 40 but 49 people killed um, in the New Zealand mosque and from what I've been from the information that I've gathered is it's because of they've, they've shown it on YouTube and Twitter I uh, lucky enough, I've not seen it. I don't want to see it. I do not suggest anyone to uh, like watch anything like that if there is any leaked videos or anything because it's just disgusting. It's horrible. Yeah, about 49 people died in a mosque today, and it was allegedly over. They said in a live stream about subscribe to PewDiePie, and I think how it's just so sickening how something that's just a small movement for a YouTube thing has gone to this far and obviously he's nothing to do with PewDiePie he's obviously never or anyone said to do this but it's just it's just sick and disgusting how people are in this world are still doing these sorts of things and it's not even that they're getting away with it because I guess no one gets away with it but it's just it shouldn't happen it should not happen to any human being any life uh, I want to talk about like the shootings in general in the world and like violence in the world and I feel like, although a lot of people think, oh, well, I can't do anything, that that's, that's the complete wrong mindset to have. Each and every one of you watching this video now, you can do something. I'm also going to leave in the description a crowdfunding thing, uh, and all the profits will go to the donation. It's, it's actually going to be on the website. All, all the donations will go to uh, the charity fund in New Zealand to you know support all the families, all the people, uh, the victims that died. Um, this morning, it's just like so frustrating. Where like we we can't we can't have a civil world. That's that's just a fact. Like I think it's it's impossible. Really, everyone just wants to uh, battle each other with hatred or violence and so on. I don't know when this will stop, but I've, I've one thing, a big thing that we can all do is like improve schooling and education systems. Not just in the big countries like UK and America and so on, but in all countries, even in third world countries, um, to help people, you know, have a better upbringing, because a lot of these things, like, it all stems from uh, and the upbringing they have, the surrounding they have, but if you're not surrounded in the right area, in a positive area that, you know, that has, that has the energy to do so, then things are, are going to go wrong, unfortunately. I mean, schooling is just a small part, but there's loads of things, I mean, Charities and stuff they've been going around for ages, but I feel like more people do need to get involved in charities Like I said link in the description for the charity um, or the donation crowdfunding for the New Zealand shooting Just like there's so many things in this world. That's just that's like Part of my language, but it's just fucked up like like for example water N not everyone Can go and, and get water and that that's to me. It's just it's just bizarre really as I know it just sounds like okay what is this guy an idiot but it's just like not every yet we, we really do take this for granted and I feel like if more people have access to water clean food clean water supplies uh, heat in clothes clothing then I think the world will it will do it justice in in the in the long run because I don't know everyone everyone in my eyes everyone will more likely to get along if everyone's encouraging and help each other I feel like this world everyone especially with social media not that social media is that bad because obviously we all use it but it's very demoralizing and uh, oh I don't like you so I'm gonna take you down and that does cause a lot of the internet things does do cause a lot of violence in this world like it's it's and there's nothing we can do about it in terms of it's not like we're gonna shut down social media we've got to be realistic about it and it shows, the internet's not gonna go down social media is not gonna go down Twitter Facebook YouTube that's not gonna go down but I feel like there needs to be more bridges and not like fences in the way if that makes sense or walls in the way uh, to barricade like every, like it's, I, know, I know a lot of things YouTube are doing now are good with like communication and um, 
you know the diversity of all the countries on the platform but yeah I think I think YouTube uh, have done a pretty good job of taking down all the content that was uploaded this morning I don't know why it was uploaded uh, I think it's just again I think of people just wanting more views more fame than their last breath which is quite uh, it's quite sickening there's a, there's a difference between like someone like me a YouTuber wanting views for just I don't know a, a fun comedy video and then actually hurting people's like actual lives like it's just sick it's just I don't, I don't understand but yeah um, like I said I'll, if you could uh, maybe leave in the comments like what you think suggestions what you can think that uh, anyone everyone could do in the world to help because although it's like I have the same mindset it's only one person how can I make a difference but a good example is a um, good role model is look at Will Smith and his son Jaden Smith as well they're making actual big moves to the environment and the world they've just released um, well not just released I think last year and it's still going on now uh, a campaign and a product that's essentially it's called Just Water uh, I'll also link that in the description as well uh, Just Water is like it's, it's just it's literally what the name is Just Water and it's really environmentally inf friendly uh, it's literally the whole carton's made out of plants and animals and stuff like that so it's not like it's not damaging the environment it makes sense and I know a lot of people don't care about that but it's important in this world but yeah like just back to the back to the violence of shootings like I think if we improve the world in total whether that be in the environment whether that being education systems government laws all these things like that the internet social media another big one like I think in the long term and obviously, you know, supplies to all the countries around the world. In the long term, it will it will probably take a few years. It will take a lot of years, but I think it will just be a more safer world because that's what we all want, really. We all want happiness. We all, we all want security, if that makes sense. Uh, although I do feel like mobile phones are like, and social media, everyone always says it. It's just it's toxic. It is, but also we can. It's I think it's the way we use it. A lot of people get it mixed up as oh, social media is bad like it's bad for you I don't think it's bad for you I think it's very good it's just it's very it's, it's genius the whole idea of internet and just social media but I think it's the way the way people use it what I mean by that is like we can use this to like spread awareness on social media um, obviously like I know there's a, already a few campaigns running on Twitter and things like that uh, about like, with certain hashtags and people supporting each other about the obviously New Zealand shootings but I just don't like how, how how much longer is this stuff gonna go on for? Like, there's always every single year, like the the, the year the, the whole year like just gets destroyed by by people just making these these. It's not even stupid moves. It's just it's unethical. It's disgusting, vile acts uh, amongst like the world really. And it's just I don't know. It's, it's gonna get it's gonna it's gonna get to a point where it's too far. So I would say, yeah, any help, any support you can give anyone around you, whether it's in other countries or your friends, your family, do do that because because it will give us all a safer world. Yeah, but in regards to like the whole PewDiePie thing that some articles like the Mirror and um, Telegraph are like, uh, saying online that I've read this morning, um, it's just. It's just it, it doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's weird. I, I can't explain it. Like how. Something that's so small, it's not even a big deal, it's not no conflict, it's, it's PewDiePie, it's a YouTuber, PewDiePie vs T-Series or whatever, like, how are these killers are using that as a, like, the, the, the extreme, what I'm trying to say, the lengths and extreme lengths people go to, to get clout or, I don't know, it's not even a word spread because it's like, there's no value in the message, it's just, a YouTube thing, it means nothing in like reality is what I mean. Yeah, I think uh, that's all that was on my mind that needs to be said. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So see if you guys feel any better about yourselves. See if you can give me any feedback in the comment section down below. It's a horrible thing that happened. My hearts and everything goes out to all the victims uh, in Australia, obviously. Uh, I've said this a hundred times. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening, supporting everyone around the world. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy this video, subscribe if you do want to, and in a bit.